I'm Lynn. Welcome back to my kitchen. I'm cooking again for the Cumberland Library. Today I'm making a authentic Caesar salad. Um, what does that mean? It means I'm going to make my dressing, I'm going to make my croutons. There's all kinds of shortcuts you can take. Obviously you can buy Caesar dressing, you can buy croutons, but we're going to do this the authentic way and it's really easy and simple. So probably stuff you have in the house, maybe, maybe not. Anchovy paste? I don't know. Um, let me tell you what you need and we'll get going. So uh, I'm going to make my croutons, like I said, so for that I need garlic. I need garlic for the dressing as well. I need olive oil, uh, a little bit of salt, and that's and bread, obviously. That's going to be for my croutons. I'm going to cut the bread up, show you how to do the croutons. We'll get those in the oven and then we'll get going on the dressing. Um, for the croutons, you can kind of saute them on the stove top, but I think it's easier to just throw them in the oven because I don't want to babysit a pan on the stove. So I can be making the dressing while I'm, um, while the croutons are doing their thing. So any kind of crusty bread is better. You know, croutons are crunchy, but you know, stale bread, I mean, you can make croutons, you know, anytime. It doesn't just have to be for a Caesar salad. And this bread wants to break apart, but um, a good crusty bread is, is great for that because you get that crunchy, crunchy thing you got going with croutons. Nobody likes a soggy crouton. I mean, the dressing softens them up a bit, but basically they're supposed to be kind of crunchy. So we're just going to cut this up into cubes. And obviously cut them as big or small or whatever as you want. And cut your fingers. I've already grated my thumb when I was grating the cheese. That wasn't fun. So, and this bread is very fresh on the inside, but that's okay because we're going to bake it and it's going to get a little crusty and crunchy. I'm going to cut them. Most people like them super big, but I don't know. I'm going to cut them into cubes ish, kind of. Cut them any way you want. A little harder to cut fresh bread. It, it smooshes it down. So really, if you um, have time, I just bought this bread, but you could leave it out and let it get stale. Like cut it like this, the slices, and let them get stale. It's actually a little bit better. Mine are fresh, and that's okay. Oh, good. So, um, Probably you're going to do a little bit more, depending on how big your salad is going to be. Um, I'm going to cut that up a little bit. End pieces are funky, they're not square, but that's all right. All right, I'm going to do a couple more. Nothing difficult about it. Toss that in like homemade croutons and you know when you're making croutons you can put whatever you want for seasoning this is just going to have garlic olive oil and salt but you can make them however you wish make extra you can use the end and cut one more this bread is really good for toast love it all right that should be plenty Use any bread you want. Just like I said, let it get stale. All right, so got our our bread here. You could cut it up and let it get stale as well. So I'm going to do some olive oil, a couple little tablespoons. The garlic's already in the bottom, so I already minced the garlic. I chopped it up real fine. I already put it in the bottom of the bowl, so that's done. Nobody needs to watch me garlic. Probably seen that a few times if you've watched my videos. If you do, you know that I like to chop it. I don't like to use a gadget because I'm not a gadget person. I'm just going to do some salt. Not measuring because I don't usually measure. And I'm just going to toss it and check out whether it looks like it's coated enough with the olive oil, which it doesn't look like it is. So you just want to look at it and make sure it looks like everything's coated because the olive oil will give it flavor and also help it to brown in the oven. So that looks good. Plus the garlic's all on the bottom, but 
that's all right. Toss it around until everything's coated, and now we're just going to dump it onto our sheet pan. Like I said, you can do it on the stove top if you want. Just put it in a dry pan and um, saute it till it looks crispy and brown. All right. I'm going to get that in the oven. Mess. I'm going to steal a paper towel from the lettuce because I didn't bring a towel over, which is not smart. Um, I'm going to get that in the oven. I've got 375. I'm going to do it for about eight minutes. I'm going to keep an eye on it, but we can be making our dressing in the meantime. Be right back. All right. Enough of that. Now I'm going to make my dressing right in the bowl that I'm going to serve. Let's get this mess out of the way here. Alright, so I need lemon. Um, three tablespoons of lemon. If you like it a little lemonier, then by all means. I'm going to do this first because this way if I have to pick out seeds, um, I can do that. Give it a good squeeze. Get your, work your muscles. See there's a couple of seeds there. Couple there. And I'm gonna assume this is enough. One lemon. I'll try to squeeze a little more out of it. Oh, it's dripping down my arm. <laughs> I didn't say it was neat. I said it was easy. Alright, that should be good. Once again, I need to get a towel. All right. So then I'm going to put my garlic in. So this is two cloves of garlic here. So you need three in total. Throw that in there. And I need about, what do I need? I got to look at my little recipe over here because I can't memorize everything. And I need a cup. Always, I can't see what is up with that. All right, olive oil, half a cup. Actually, I'm gonna drizzle this in last, but I'm just gonna get it measured. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Wow, I should have taken the top off because that's like watching paint dry. Okay. Put that aside. Let's do the egg yolks next. Now, I don't want whites. I want yolks. So, do it over a bowl. Get rid of your whites. And get your yolks in there. That's one. to get that going. And now I'm going to add what some people might think of as yucky, anchovy paste. Um, you can add, you can use anchovies and cut them up. Put that in there too, that's also authentic if you will. I'm going to use a tablespoon. And the top part's always a little liquidy. You don't want to come out. Anchovy paste is good for, you know, different things, stir fries, to, it, it adds like a salty bite. Um, and some people are just weirded out about what it is, but this one doesn't want to come out. Come on, little guys. Wow, very thick. It doesn't want to come out, why? What's wrong with you? Getting there. While I fight with this, talk amongst yourselves. It's coming out, but what the heck? Very strange. Let's try that. I'm gonna make the hole big enough. This is why when you watch a cooking show, they have everything pre-measured. But I don't have a staff, you know? All right, get that in there. Whisk it around. 
Get it all incorporated. It's a little lumpy. Very lumpy. Whisk, whisk, whisk. See, it's like a little lumpy. But we're going to be doing a lot of whisking. We've got to whisk in some Worcestershire, Worcester, Chester, whatever you want to say it. Just a half a teaspoon of that. Have you ever wondered what is in Caesar dressing? Here you go. And I'm going to add some pepper. I'm going to go easy on the salt because Parmesan is salty. Let's see, did I remember everything? I did. brown and uh, anchovy paste is getting incorporated so that's good. I'm going to go check my protons in a minute. In the meantime, I'm going to throw most of the parmesan. So I, I shredded this, also shredded my thumb. Um, so I'm going to leave a little bit for the top, but I've got more if I want. And you can use the grated Parmesan or whatever. So I'm going to add a little more. It's looking a little thick because of the way I did the Parmesan. That's okay. So, I'm going to put that aside. And I want to cut my lettuce. So I've just got romaine. And that's really for an authentic Caesar salad. Just lettuce, croutons, and Parmesan over the top. The dressing. I'm going to use the center. Make sure you dry it real good, which this is a little wet, but that's okay because I washed it real good. And so I also see a lot of people making it where they leave the leaves kind of whole and then I, I assume you pick it up and eat it with your hands. I don't know. But I'm going to toss my lettuce in there and again adapt the recipe to you know what size salad you want um, make more make less probably do a single serve and just save the dressing for another time you could put the dressing in a in a, in a jar and save it for another salad Cut the pieces up with their bite size. I like romaine, it's my favorite. It holds together, it stands up to all kinds of dressing. And then, I'm just gonna give it a toss. Get all that dressing incorporated. It's already looking yummy and smelling yummy. I'm gonna go check on my croutons. need a few more minutes so I'm gonna pause and we'll be right back all right I'm gonna change the name of this show to see if you can figure out what mistake I made this time I poured the olive oil into the half cup <clears throat> and then didn't use it I used it out of the thing whatever it's a half cup of olive oil anyway I put olive oil in there it's all good hard to do this by yourself I'm doing the best I can. Anyway, my croutons are out. They're cool enough to throw on the salad, so I'm going to do that. Toss them on the top. Or if you're going to like individually plate them, you can just put the croutons on each plate or let the people put it on themselves. People, your guests, your family, whatever. So I'm going to toss that a bit because I want the um, croutons to absorb the dressing. Give it a toss. And um, I tasted it and the anchovy paste is salty so and so is Parmesan so I didn't add any salt. I added a little salt to the croutons themselves but just very little, a quarter teaspoon. So and typically you would want to dress this just before you serve it. You don't want it to sit in this dressing too long. But <clears throat> for purposes of this video, 
dressed. And then I would just plate it up. And I would personally put uh, some grilled chicken on this, add some protein. Just plate that up. And then I would get this out of the way. I would shave some more Parmesan over the top. Because if you know me, you know that you can never have too much Parmesan cheese. I put it on a lot of things. Don't grate your finger like I did earlier. And there is a pretty salad. And I'm going to taste it. I'm going to have to use my fingers because I didn't bring a fork. Mmm, very good. Just salty enough, so don't add any salt. Taste the glucon. Mmm, nice and crispy and crunchy. Little hint of garlic. Teeny bit of salt. Super yummy. Plus, cheese. It's the best part. Alright, so, make yourself a Caesar salad. Throw some protein on it or serve it as a side dish. It's great for summer. It's salad season. Um, it was super hot <clears throat> over the weekend and we didn't feel like cooking anything hot, so a salad is perfect. And this is a great one and I think lots of people like it. It's very popular. So serve it to your guests and come back again and see me. All right, what am I doing in June? I am doing pulled pork nachos and a no-bake strawberry cheesecake. So come back and see me again. I look forward to seeing you. Check out <clears throat> all the things the library is doing. If you're local, come see us. Subscribe to this page. Check out our Facebook page, CarmelinLibrary.org. Um, that's not our Facebook page, that's our website. <laughs> Go to Facebook and find us and like us and subscribe to YouTube and we'll see you soon. Take care.